So Komodo and Raptor just got face detection autofocus via an update. How it works, how to set it up and if it works reliable, you're gonna find out in this video. Coming up. Hi, thanks for tuning in. My name is Paul, I'm a German-based cinematographer and if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews, but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Seriously, I would really, really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. So a few live ago, Red had that live stream about the Red Control Pro app. And in that live stream, they also announced that the Raptor and also Komodo have now face detection autofocus. Now it is important to say that it works currently only in the app itself, not in the camera. So now how are you gonna set it up? So first, of course, make sure that you have a lens attached that has autofocus and turn on autofocus as well, uh, either in, also in the camera and also on the lens itself. And then make sure that it is set to continuous autofocus. For the next step, you have to open the app. So if you open the app, then you have this right ring, which is basically the symbol for focus. And if you tap on that, then you have bottom left somewhere tools. If you tap on tools, and then bottom right, you find face detection autofocus. If you tap it, you have now um, first and last. I've tested both of them a bunch and I didn't see a difference there. And what it does now is that the autofocus box is now tracking faces. And as you see right here, it kind of works properly. You, you see like it is uh, sticky to the face. And, but to be honest, I was testing it a bunch in good lighting situations and to be fair I tested it at f2.0 on the Sigma Art lens which is an EF lens not an RF lens so I made it really hard for the camera and I found it not too reliable to be honest. I have used the normal autofocus a bunch in talking head sequences if the box if the person stayed inside the box and it was working fine but here you also see that it hunts for the background even when I don't move. So at this point it is still unreliable, I would say, and I personally would use it. Take that with a grain of salt because I only tested it with the Sigma Art lens because that's the only autofocus lens I own. The other lenses are only cine, cine lenses only. So, but I think it is really great that RED updated this. Now we have a great option and I'm pretty sure they will still update it further to, to be getting even better. And uh, as I said, it's still in beta mode and the camera is already out for two years now. <laughs> and uh, I think it's great and I'm yeah happy to see what comes next. So if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, you know that game. I would really, really appreciate it and see you in the next one. Cheers. Now the bell of the church is ringing, right at that point when I want to start my session here. Oh well. Hmm. <laughs> I think I have to wait for 